The Thames Plus agenda is all about social inclusion, gender equality, and the youth. Hence, a lot of attention is being paid to the young people by the Lagos State Government. Commissioner for Information and Strategy Bengal Motesha stated this during a media parley with Lagos State Governor's Office correspondent in Lagos. Plus TV correspondent Lavi Koko Yedokun was there and now reports. Media Pali provided an opportunity for these men and women who have covered activities of the state governor day in, day out to get to hear from the commissioner on some issues. It also afforded the commissioner an avenue to hear directly from the journalist on views about what people are saying about government. Without further ado, the men of the fourth estate of the realm, led by George Okoji immediately swung into action. Wasting no time, they fired their shots. Of course, not bullets, but questions at the commissioner. First was on the Themes Plus agenda of the Somolu led government. That plus is simply about uh, social inclusion, about uh, gender equality, and about uh, the youth. Uh, that means in this second tenure, so many things that we are going to be doing, attention will be paid to our young people because people say that uh, they are leaders of tomorrow. But this administration believes that it's not even a question of tomorrow that they are leaders of today. And you can see that in all of the things that uh, uh, we are doing and things that are going on here in Lagos. He also gave updates on some ongoing projects in the state. The Ojota Link Bridge is going to be completed. We were there a few weeks ago for us to see the level of uh, work. And we have seen the kind of transformation that that bridge has brought to that uh, area. Uh, it means that when it is completed, people will no longer be uh, missing their fights when they are going to the, the airport and then the, the, there is a traffic congestion. The traffic congestion around that area will definitely uh, <laughs> fade. It's uh, going to be insignificant it's, if at all it's going to be there. So it's like uh, somebody flying all the way from Okwebi to Ojota, Odoya, Laro, Ninkreja, around the Maryland. So uh, that, that is it for, for that uh, project. There are so many others that are going to be completed this year. Omoto Show similarly touched on how Governor Sawonlu is encouraging the youths. In Lagos, we are giving them all of the opportunities that they need in the creative industry where over 6,000 of them have been trained to do film editing, script writing, acting, and such things by giants in the trade, such as Bell York, Bogiti, Ama, and uh, Ebony Life. And you can see what we have done in, uh, about 18 uh, vocational centers that Lagos State Government uh, runs. Over 16,000 of them have been trained. And after passing out of these uh, schools, they were not left to their own devices. They were given equipment to go and start uh, their new trade. On security, the commissioner reiterated that the state government is not leaving any stone unturned to ensure Lagosians sleep with both eyes closed. He maintained that Governor Sawunlu is committing a lot of funds into security and declared that Lagos is very secured and would continue to be so. Love Ikuku Oyedoku, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.